<laughs> I'm ready. That's good. We're are live. You, are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, you think I grew up in the '70s? You just seem so experienced. It. I'm sorry. <laughs> Holy crap! I didn't think I'm, you grew I'm, up in the '70s. So it makes you feel better. I'm. I'm. I'm hurt. I'm hurt I'm, by this. I'm really sorry. I, you just seem very experienced at life, and so I was. Just, I see I just, somebody who's not going to be getting much support tonight. Uh well, you already knocked down my uh, our support level, so. Mm hmm. You know, I was already feeling it. Weren't you already at? Whoa, whoa! Did you go from six to something lower? I think it's like four right now, right? For yeah. at least for on his side. Yeah, balance things out a little bit more. Oh my goodness. All right, look, we've been live for like a whole minute while these people are busy destroying themselves. Uh I'm Arthur Perkins. Surprise! I'm joined clockwise by Smile Sweet Sister Sadistic, and I'm Service. We are Cafe Steel. Wait, what? You don't this it's the Blend S intro. Look, it's anime. Don't worry about it. There's like one person in the cast who remembers that shit from last year, and they'll be like, ha ha, that was so funny and accurate, Arthur, and literally no one else will get it. It's fine. Look, there's been a lot that's happened in the last week, nothing useful. I've injured myself yet again. Cotton got some fan art where she's a vampire, dressed like Dracula. Sid has managed to not blow Wait, anything up. This, where's this vampire Dracula art? It's private. Some spirit and I worked on it together. Mm -hmm. Cotton wants to share it around. She can. I was just like, yo, man, let me talk to you about vampire Cotton. He was like, is Cotton really going to be cool with that? I was like, well, she's actually a vampire, so she probably doesn't want to be outed. But maybe. <laughs> Could happen. Look. I thought we were going to be in the dark week. No anime for a whole week. But I forgot that this anime season started over the course of three weeks. And so we literally have back-to-back -back anime seasons. We've got some interesting ones today. I want to talk about how I got reincarnated by a slime. I want to say literally nothing about it. Just just watch the first episode. If it's funny for you, keep watching the series. Is it funny for you? I thought it was fucking hilarious. Mm. There are a lot of different ways that people die and get reincarnated, but this has to be the best one. I, I enjoyed it thoroughly. And it involved a computer being thrown into a bathtub. That's all I'll say. What else has happened? We got plenty of shitty anime. Computer. No, the computer was fine. Okay. Don't worry about it. It was, was intentional. It waterproof? It was intentional. Oh, no, it definitely wasn't waterproof. Uh, oh, yeah! Uh, I got gaming updates. That's what my, my intro will be. Fate Grand Order, I got to the sixth main storyline area, it's called Camelot, and everyone on the forums is like, dude, you just got to Camelot, shit's gonna get a lot harder, if you need help, just call me, ask me for some walkthrough tips, and I was like, no, it's fine, I'm going at a pretty good pace, and they're like, alright, look, when you get to Gawain, you're gonna wanna, and I'm like, no, but seriously, dude, I, I actually <laughs> beat Gawain really easily, and they were like, oh, really? Well, when you get to Mordred, and I was like, Actually, I just beat Mordred and she was super easy as well. And they were like, well, when you get to Tristan, and I was like, ah, well, Tristan did have that gimmick where he reverses class advantage. So I was about to get fucking wrecked and then I wrecked him. So <laughs> just, with, with incredibly lucky picks, incredibly lucky picks, I managed to solo literally every part of Camelot so far, and I'm on a fucking roll. And then I found out everyone on my server plays Azure Lane. So, I mean, we have a new Discord channel to talk about mobile games, or just games in general, or Star Fox 64. That's, that's what I got. I'm gonna toss it over to Lexi, who's a fan of Vampire, uh, the Destroyer, not the horrifying night creature that sucks your blood. Yeah, yeah, that whole Twilight thing, I was more of a werewolf than a vampire one. But they're like cold, and they have to drink blood to survive. That's not natural. Anyway, um, I am Lexi Tells over at twitch.tv forward slash Lexi Tells, and on Twitter, which I am uh, starting to be more active on starting today. 
uh, I started playing a game that Arthur referenced called Azure Lane. <laughs> um, but actually, my uh, my secretary ship is not a vampire more. It's Prince Eugen, who is almost as lewd as vampire is. It's kind of close. It's kind of close. Wait, wait. Um, Who's as lewd as vampire is? Prince Eugen. That uh, that uh, German. Oh, Prince uh, Eugene. Eugene. Put yeah. I I guess. I mean. I mean, it's like she's Prince not that. Eugene listen, here's the big difference, vampire. right? Look, they're both fan service characters, but one of them is 11 years old, and the other's in her 20s. That's the difference. Well, see, and that's why that one, the 20 year old, is my secretary ship. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Though I did just pull Enterprise this morning. That's, I mean, that's a solid pull. Enterprise can literally solo your entire front line in PvP. That's what I heard. And I also have her counter, Vestal, the oh, repair ship, anti aircraft repair ship, who so. looks absolutely adorable and just wants to help her team survive and live. And her, uh, her repair kits that she gives, I upgraded her. She gives two now. Uh, it's, it's pretty, it's actually it's pretty bullshit. broken. Uh, from on my second fleet, so um, you need to pick up Arizona. Actually, that's where the repair is at. I do have Arizona. As oh well. well, yeah, she's super strong. Oh yeah, I really like her a lot. Except it's kind of sad because her her main attack is what pearls tears or whatever. That's kind of no, no. She's got the one where that might be Pennsylvania. Yeah, uh, might, hers Pennsylvania. is whenever she fires, there's a fifty percent chance that she'll heal your team like twenty percent. Uh, it's like. I, that's Arizona. Yeah, but, Arizona. Um, but I mean, like, she was, wasn't she the one in Pearl Harbor? I don't know. Got sunk? I'm Look. pretty sure she was the one that's like, because uh, you remember the opening was all like, oh no. Oh, listen, the storyline of that game is so confusing. The translating is bad. It's really <laughs> bad. It is, but actually, yeah, uh, you know, they've had, uh, had new stuff on it to, um, like, new voice lines. Let's see. I'm actually gonna Google this right now. I don't know about that. Yeah, you said there's oh, it's See, because I I got in on the uh, open beta for US, so yeah, it's a memorial wreck because it's. Uh... Look, here's the thing about Arizona. She's the best, second best. Yeah, yeah. See, see, yeah. During the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor, Arizona was bombed. And her bomb detonated in a power magazine. The battleship exploded violently and sank with the loss of 1,177 officer and seamen. Well, it says crewmen, but... Sure, <laughs> you wanted to make a chance at any innuendo reference that you could. Yeah, I get exactly, it. Exactly, exactly. Look, uh, first well, off, listen. Arizona's great. You should be frontlining her all the time with Hood. And that's about I it. At the moment. I don't have Hood right now. That's rough. Eventually. We get through eventually. So, um, other than that, the other game, uh, I new game I'm playing is Splatoon 2. Uh, I, upon my nephew's request, he wants someone to play with, so I got it, and I've been playing it, and it's pretty awesome. I, I actually was, it's just a lot of fun, just inking on everybody. <laughs> uh, Turf Wars is a lot of fun, just running people over with the roller. Um, and then on the anime front, I actually watched some anime uh, this past week, actually over the past couple of days. I watched uh, Himoto Umaru or whatever, which is like the um, that anime with like the little squishy, the girl who goes from being an idol, as Oscar put it, to like a little squishy kid, Himoto. Himoto is a play on, is like a, you know, is another form of Imoto, which is like little sister. So it was good, really funny. I highly recommend it. Um, yeah. Oh, all right. I'm going to actually do, do... Who wants to go next? Like, if we're, boop, 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 Mega Man style. Which of these frames? Everyone's looking around like I'm crazy. I don't have anything exciting. Wow, Sid is just pointing at cotton, oh. apparently. Okay. Wow. wow. All right. We've solidly locked in. A giant white bar appears around cotton's frame and blinks twice. You know, Kelsa was talking. I don't want to take her turn. You sure? I just realized my, my microphone was like way far away from me too. <laughs> Kelsa, let's go with you, but then we'll be back to Torment Cotton. 
You got, I, I bought you some time, Cotton. You got this. Uh, yeah. So uh, today is October 1st. And I drew something for Inktober. And I'm hoping to continue that trend. But as previous years have proven, I usually can't get more than halfway through the month with continually drawing. But uh, I'm particularly proud of uh, today's offering, even though I may have ruined my favorite shirt in the process. I'm going to throw something at you, Cotton. Or, uh, Kelsa. You ready for this? I'm not. <clears throat> There's actually a separate contest that goes alongside Inktober that aligns greatly with my interests. It's called FG October. That's Fate Grand Order October. It's where you draw fan art of your favorite Fate Grand Order characters using the Inktober list as keywords. So pretty mm -hmm. much everybody drew for Poisonous serenity of the hassan whose skin is so poisonous it instantly kills anyone she touches have you considered joining me as a fate fan and perhaps getting inspiration <laughs> from all of the historical and fictional characters of fate i have never heard of this game in my life well it's available on android and ios for free I'll as soon as the show's over tonight, I'm going to be making a video of all the sick rolls that I'm going to do. I'm hoping to grab King Arthur tonight. Look, Kelsa, do you have anything else going on? What about this Oregon Trail thing? Yeah, well, there is this Oregon Trail thing. Uh, uh, my show, Almost to Oregon, is on Thursday. Um every other Thursday, but this Thursday is on. Uh, it is a hack of fate, um, the role-playing system, not the other game you were just talking about. Uh, and uh, I get to be a cat um, because we got a lot of weird magic going on. So it's just like this game then, okay. Uh, pretty much, except mm -hmm. I'm not also the spirit of you know uh, a world war ii battleship you're just a just a right. cat it's regular right i'm just a regular cat that got cursed with human intelligence is that really a curse though also shape-shifting is that really a curse though depends on who you ask i mean he can't go back to being a regular cat anymore. He's you could like, just shape shift as like a friendly looking person, right? So you can just be like, yo, what's up? I'm super friendly all the time. Then I bite you. What? What? Oh, well, that is a pretty cat like thing to do. Actually, the real curse is uh, cannot harm humans. Well, will not or does not. Something all like All right, that. look. Having read several Irish myths, there's 100% a dozen ways to get around that. Oh, psh, yes. <laughs> but um, it's going to be interesting. I'm, I'm looking forward to uh, actually getting some role playing done because the last uh, few episodes have been character creation and... Um, uh, establishing lines and veils. So, I'm going to actually get a play this week. Cotton. You did all this sweet chibi art for my new Wednesday show, New Game Plus. We are like, look, I could do this really cool character art, but what I'm really known for is taking that character art and making it half sized and being like, Look at the sweet fucking chibi that's now like 100%. All of those guys are like, I could take the regular art to be my character token, but I want the chibi. So I'm probably going to have to do a thing where I cut all of your regular art out and make that like the party icon and like the banner for the show. And then we're going to be using that chibi shit to move around on the playing field. I'm, I'm sorry if I don't know. It's fine, it's Cotton. I'm not upset that I go to you to do this art and all you do is do the thing that you always do. Sorry. <laughs> I have them saved on a different layer if it would be easier for you, though. I'm, <laughs> I'm messing around, Cotton. I'm clearly not upset. <laughs> Look, some people say that I'm a Sundere, some people say that I'm a Yandere, but you aren't the things that you like. 
but I am full of shit all the time. <laughs> Cotton, mm -hmm. you've had some time. I don't even know what's happening right now. Don't, look, don't worry about it. We've given Cotton the time so that she can hide the fact that she's a vampire. <laughs> what do you have to say for yourself? <laughs> uh, I'm Cottontails. I have a Twitter. So I've been super busy lately, so there's nothing on there anymore. That's true. That's Are true. you allergic to garlic? No. I love garlic. I'm allergic to kiwi. Have you ever had any difficulties crossing the threshold of a church? Nope. Tell I'm us about your thoughts man. on holy water. <laughs> it's really more of an oil, so... So is it... Never mind. No, just don't. <laughs> just don't. I actually have no idea where you're going with that, because I don't have as dirty a mind as you, but I'm... Oily so water. No. Oh, come on. It so was a pun. Not yeah, a I mean, look, that was a pun I... in the same way that a bunt is a home run, but okay. <laughs> I mean, puns <laughs> ever really a home run? When it yes. Comes to jokes? Oh. Puns are amazing. Oh. My heart. Literally the only person in the entire world who enjoys puns on the show. I enjoy puns. That that would explain why you're still friends with Tice, even after he's betrayed you repeatedly across several different game systems. My favorite things to do is send puns to people that I know hate them. <laughs> yeah, that is great, isn't it? <laughs> The reaction was <sighs> amazing. I didn't know that about you. Okay. Cotton is secretly super sadistic. <laughs> she is. Yeah, I got the order of that initial thing wrong. Sorry, Kelsa. Who was everybody? Yeah, who know. was everybody? Yeah, I said clockwise. So it's Sid, Cotton, Lexi, Kelsa. Smile, sweet, sadistic, or smile, sweet, sister, sadistic. Surprise service, we are style. Oh, wait, smile, sweet, sister, sadistic? Yep. Surprise oh. service, we are style. <laughs> Look, just go watch the blend S intro. It'll make more sense. It's fine. Okay. Cotton, you probably haven't watched any anime. But let me I ask have. you instead. Oh, you have. Okay, well, I'm going to stop now. All right. No, go ahead and ask me the question. I was going to ask you, how is Don't Starve together? I've only played Don't Starve. I think it's pretty fun. Mm -hmm. You can come play sometime. I don't know that I have Don't Starve together. I just have Don't Starve. Oh, well, then it would be harder to do that. That would be. I only played like one hour of it as well. You kind of just like wander around the woods and like gather stuff in a weird two-dimensional... I mean, it's got like a cool art style, but... You don't die. There's bosses you can fight. I'll go find him, though. Okay. Interesting. So it's kind of like Diablo. Just There is an ending to it. You gotta, like, find the guy who sent you to the place. I assume his name is Steve Gary. I don't actually know what it is. Steve Gary seems like it might fit. You got any anime you want to talk about? I've been watching Love is Hard for an Otaku. <laughs> That's right, you have been. And Wait, it's what? adorable. Normies go explode. <laughs> Love is... Love is Hard for an Otaku. Yes, it's very good. It's on Amazon Prime. It's on Amazon Prime. Uh, yeah, it's I from a season or two ago. It was, it was really good. It's, it's actually excellent. <sighs> It's about people in their late 20s and 30s uh, getting together and keeping their otaku hobbies going. The one woman, actually both women are into yaoi and are constantly talking about their boy love preferences. That's, that happens. Whether they're into tops or bottoms. You know how it goes. I'm actually looking at Kelsa okay. when I'm saying this because I'm pretty sure I've heard her have this discussion. I'm trying to remember where I may have had this discussion that you could have overheard it. Uh, it almost certainly was one of those firebrands. 
Mm. She's not yeah, denying that, that she's that had the conversation. Yeah, I know. She's not denying that she's totally Fujoshi or whatever it's called. <laughs> she's just like, but how would you know that, Arthur? And I'm like, well, that's because I listen to things. I mean, I don't, I don't remember when I would have said that. Bola. Look, but, Kelsa. Uh, now that the question's uh, out there, top or bottom? When you're, when you're boy loving. Bola. <laughs> It's a, it's a hard, it's a hard, it's hard. Probably top. Okay. Someone in chat's asking about Fujoshi. Yikes. All right. I'm just going to go ahead and link the Wikipedia article because that's the only way I can assure that any children in the audience don't get sucked into a rabid whirlpool of death. <laughs> wow. Speaking of rabid whirlpools of death, let's go ahead and toss it over to Sid Alpha. Excellent. <laughs> Despite what some people think, I'm not dead. I'm also not in my late 40s, as <laughs> Lexi seems to think. Yeah, come on Thank now. you for that. Um, I'm sorry. God damn. I got I to think of some way to get you back now. I, I do. It's going to have to happen. It's a moral imperative at this point. Next time she asks for help <laughs> on the technical problem, just ignore her. Ah, uh, Yes. <laughs> the true way to get revenge is to hold it in for a long time. I mean, I am capable of doing that. Uh, one of my employees actually, um, I oh left my, my computer unlocked. Oh, I don't want to hear this. To go into another room for a phone call, and they, <sighs> they, uh, they Nicholas caged my desktop. The hell does and... that mean? They it starved in several movies of differing genres no, and quality just, like, in the same just, year. Like, Nicholas Cage backgrounds. They changed all of my. They changed all of my icons and stuff to different different Nicholas Cage faces and stuff. Okay, all right, now I get and, it. Uh, <laughs> and so you know, I being I am you know a full administrator for our company as well as all of our clients i gave myself full access permissions to his mailbox and set up an autoresponder uh telling everyone that he was a pretty pretty princess and i told him oh my god sid i did one other thing to your laptop or i did one other thing to your desktop i'll, I'll wait for you to find it and sid. i sat there for three sid. months it took before it finally drove him nuts to the point where he just i gotta know what did you do nothing not a damn thing. Three months of agony, and I didn't even have to lift a finger. This sounds like a really professional thing to do. It was. Ah, oh, Sid. All right, why don't you tell me some <laughs> other disappointing things that happened to you this week? Uh, let's see. Well, I'm feeling a heck of a lot better than I did last Monday. Yeah, you were basically dying. Yeah. Uh, that's what happens when you get a cold and pneumonia both at the same time. It gets pretty rough. But I'm about a solid 90, maybe 92%. So I'm on my way there. I actually managed to get a couple of videos out again, thank God. Uh, so my channel it hasn't completely died off, but it took actually it took less time to get uh, back up there. It only took one down video before everything bounced back to normal. I thought it was going to take a couple of weeks, so... A surprise to be sure but a pleasant one really really yeah. man what is it with you in prequel memes lately i don't know i don't know it's they I, they just strike me funny that's all and yeah we had a lot of a huge amount of fun on uh battle tech did we though gonna... did we have a huge amount of fun i, I felt think like, so i felt like we spent so much time moving across the battlefield those opening rounds are always the worst. Still had a lot of fun. We had some good. We had some good interactions. I mean, Team whenever Dave. Dave shows up, things get Dave horrific. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I had a lot of fun. Anyways, I enjoyed myself, and I'm looking forward to this Thursday. So that's basically all. All that's been going on for me is just day job stuff. I've got all day meetings tomorrow and Wednesday, so this is my last bout of happiness before Thursday. So that's rough. You have to spend all so many meetings, days unhappy. All day meetings are god awful, terrible. They're like the most dull, boring, insanely, ridiculously boring things to ever put someone like me through. 
Look, Sid. Three days straight of unhappiness. That's rough. Yeah. That's like listening to Kanye West level of rough. That's pretty damn rough. I'm not sure if it's that rough, but it's pretty close. No, that's pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, it'll be all right, though. It's good for the team. I just can't stand it. All right. Look, do we have any other topics that we want to cover collectively? The world is falling apart. Politics is fucked. I'm wearing Psh. pants tonight. What the? F oh my <laughs> so god! <am> <laughs> I believe that the world is splitting around me. <laughs> I very strongly... Does anyone hear the silver calls of the angels? <laughs> I very strongly considered wearing a skirt instead of pants just so I could say I wasn't wearing pants. <laughs> but then I realized that all of my skirts were dirty, and so that <sighs> just shot a hole right in that idea. I'm wearing pants, too. Is oh my god, we're about? all wearing appropriate... Apparel. I mean, I all know. right. I want to counter you there. I mean, it's appropriate when you go out and about, but like, who wears pants when they're inside? Just I do. I do. Y'all just expect like like people to just drop by at any any point in time. Yeah, I and mean, I live yeah. alone, I and I rarely have visitors. So yeah. Uh, I literally have a an open door policy with my friends. So yeah. yeah. That's the same with us. With our family that lives near us, but. But they don't require you to wear pants. Got it. Okay. Look, yeah. I need it's to family. get a kilt so that one night I can be like, I'm not wearing pants, everyone. I'm wearing a kilt. Please do that. <laughs> that would be so great. You have a bagpipe. That is not that even close to what a bagpipe though. sounds. Ah, I'll consider it. I'll consider it. Right around the same time like we get Sid and cat ears, right? Oh yeah, no, no, no! I'll do, I'll do the dwarf thing from Lord of the Rings where I get two spike two beards. beards. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, like some beard on That's how you can tell the difference between the. Oh, oh. Question: Do they actually have beard extensions? I yeah. have yeah, no idea. Hmm. Yes, they do. Oh, they do. No percent. Yes, they do. There's the rabbit ears, huh? Kind of. I think they're crooked. That's all right. Uh, every time I put these cat ears on, I'm always like, gosh, these look so crooked. It's attached. So because it's attached to my skull directly, I'm always like, oh, now I got to like move them back and forth because my skull shape, you know, like a skull. And oh, it's rough. It's coarse. It gets everywhere. There you go, Sid. You could just do what I do and just not wear cat ears, Sid. You don't have that problem. That's boring. Yeah, I don't understand how that works. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <clears throat> Arthur at least is wearing an actual hat. You know, he's getting the character and stuff. Oh, I just like the hat. Well, gee, maybe I'm just too old. Maybe. Wow. You know, you can't. We brought it back <laughs> around, huh? New things can over old people to grasp onto. <laughs> Did I ever tell you that my grandmother used to play video games up until uh, up until she passed away? She had a Nintendo DS, and she played a bunch of different video games. Like she was a huge fan of uh, Ace Attorney. Bitchin. Awesome. Nice. Look, my grandma has Snapchat. She sends me snaps. I. Nice. Just a your grandma ago, is so I, much cooler than me. Playing Call of Duty on his Xbox, and he was cursing someone out and stuff, and I didn't know what was going on. I thought he was getting frustrated and pissed, and I turned around and looked, and he was him and his brothers. All of them are in their sixties, are just steamrolling these kids and then mocking the shit out of them on voice chat. <laughs> Is what they were doing. I was like, oh my God, my dad's a 12 year old. <laughs> hey, now I know where you get it from. Mm. Oh, that's so mean. Gosh, that is what the sign of a hole in one sounds like. 
I see Kelsa has her sniper rifle zeroed in. Yeah. Apparently, everybody has a sniper <laughs> rifle zeroed in on you. Uh, but yeah, well, that's uh, this Love feels like target. Thursday, you know. Well, I mean, he painted a target on himself, and then he lit the phosphorus, so it glows in the dark. That's fine. Uh, it just keeps using it's ineffective. I over feel and like over I should again. insult him, but I don't know what to say. Oh my gosh, Cotton! Look, you know. can't Cotton pretend to be me. innocent I think my here. Heart might actually. Break. I know that you have some really <laughs> savage shit stored up within you. Maybe I'll send him puns. <laughs> yeah, I probably think they're amusing for like the first yeah. hour. In <laughs> Gosh, Cotton, you're literally like that one character in every zombie movie and or anime that everyone's just like, oh, that's the sweet innocent girl. And then by the end of it, she's like fucking covered in blood and has got like four knives, has the highest kill count. And everyone's like, what happened to you? <laughs> But then she smiles and you smiles realize how broken so the world is. <laughs> and is like, what? <laughs> Nobody's gonna be killing. It's done now. So Sid is the Boromir right now. I'm always the Boromir, dude. Look, always. I feel like we should get started shortly. I just want to add one more thing. I am absolutely attempting to find a hoodie, a jacket, or a pajama top that comes with one of those hoods that has the cat ears already on them. Like, I've been loving putting that on all of my D&D characters, but now I want one in real life. Yeah, I, And they're I, hard I, to let find. Google that for you. Make God sure that's, damn, uh, that character in Final Fantasy XIV. What's her name? The, uh, the mage that Alpha, this Alpha Nod's teacher or whatever, or mentor? The Lolithel? Okay. Here you go, Arthur. You can just go to. I don't remember. And, oh. Look, the only person whose name I can remember from Final Fantasy fourteen right now is Yustola because she is awesome. She's okay. I didn't come from Lalafell Land. I came from Bitch and Sweet Pirate Land, where Yustola hangs out. Because we're awesomer there. Awesomer. Yeah, we're awesomer. You guys might be awesome, probably not, but I'm awesomer because I came from Pirate Land. I thought your name was Arthur. My middle name is Awesomer. It's not, Arthur it's actually Austin. Earl. All right. It reminds me of that Dixie Chick song. No, I sent Arthur. Arthur a link so he could get himself a Kigurumi. Oh my goodness. I don't, yeah. Kigurumi.com? You act like I haven't been here before. Look, man, I've been chasing the Kigurumi high ever since Dodger showed up in that shit. And then they had Jesse Cox and uh, Crendor all sitting on the couch together in Kikurumi's playing like SNES. I would get so hot. It's hard to, <laughs> you, like, you have to commit when you get one, though. Like, it's hard to figure out what one to say yes to. It's like getting married. What? I have a Stay Puff Marshmallow Man Kikurumi. Oh, my goodness, Cotton. Really? I don't believe you. I, I do. Must, I, must see this. I don't know where it's at. I'll find it at break. Okay. Oh my gosh, they have Kigurumi caps too. Oh my gosh. The oh reason no. I haven't got a Kigurumi is because it's I found it's harder to decide on which one I want than it was to figure out what kind of tattoo I want. So, you know, I, I'm with you there. Uh, look, when it comes to tattoos, I always go back to the first X Men with Magneto. I feel like I do this, right? When I watch Trigun. There was the sheriff in like the first few episodes who was like, the only persons who put alco uh, ice in their alcohol are weak men. And ever since then, I've been like, I never drink alcohol with ice in it. And after Magneto was like, I will never let a needle touch my arm again because I got a Holocaust tattoo, you little bitch. I was like, damn, I'm never going to get a tattoo. Magneto's the shit, man. I make my life decisions <laughs> based on <laughs> movies. <laughs> I mean, I guess you gotta get your morals from somewhere. Yeah, of course. From the bad guys of two different movies. Perfect. Nailed it. Oh, Alright, speaking of things we're nailing. Uh, so many things are starting to come into focus now. It great. <laughs> Look, I'm about to get my revenge on you, Sid. You better be ready for this. Let's start with the flagship vote. Who wants to be flagship this week? I do. Mm -hmm. All right, Cotton, who do you want to vote for? <laughs> Did everybody run? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't remember who was flagship last time. 
said by was, because my special ability, you know. I feel like Tulsa hasn't been flagship in a while. My goodness, Tama wins flagship with the cotton vote. I can do it, yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> all right, now for my revenge. I've been waiting all week for this one. I promised oh. I'd stop taking. Oh shit! I forgot. Literally, no one correctly guess the theme of the bullshit that i did at the beginning of the last episode the correct answer was not water which at least three different people guessed it was confession scene from a visual novel i've also have yet to have anyone translate the shit that i said to lexi yeah i was counting on Sid to do that he said he had that problem <laughs> yeah, everybody's just waiting on somebody else i've been, I've been, been trying to recover <laughs> well he said he was going to translate it, and mm -hmm. I was like, I... That's fine. Look, Sid, you're in deep, deep water. <clears throat> because we start with the Nagato Shikaku date. Oh, so geez. why don't... Oh, yeah. <laughs> you thought I would forget about that shit, motherfucker. You even dropped your relationship score. But guess what, bitch? You promised that shit in the last battle. And I'm here to deliver for I'm the audience. Sure I promised to date with all three of them. It's time you to deliver. It. We're That's starting awesome. with Shikaku. Talk to me. What are you dressed like? Where are you going? And what are you doing? If I could legally play that song from The Little Mermaid, I would, but I can't. No, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. It's so catchy. I know, but we need to be able to make sure that this shit can get on YouTube without getting copyright striking by Big Daddy Disney. Are you old enough to know that movie? Oh my, oh shit, I mean, Sid. Are you asking if a little kid knows The Little Mermaid? Really? Are you that out of touch with youth today? <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Look, I Sid, you can run. I almost wore a Little Mermaid shirt, actually, on the show. <laughs> that would have been pretty dope. You can run, Sid, but you can't hide. You're, you're in the control of the dating seat here, and you will be for all of your other dates. Bloody hell. All right. So, what's the first question you wanted answered? Oh, it doesn't matter what order you answer them in, but what oh, do you yeah, dress I was like? That as in, I didn't recall the question. What do you dress like? Where are you going? And what are you doing? Oh, um, same outfit that Nagato always wears, except this one is completely black with red trim. Oh, okay. You're doing like the the Congo reverse kinky Miko thing. All right. Sure. Don't worry about it. Soundwaves Ghost will know what I'm talking about. All right. <laughs> Literally one person will get that reference. It's fine. Where are you going and what are you doing? Um, Taking her to a ball game, to the arcade, to the mall? Dinner at Mamiya's. Oh course. my goodness. Because what a cop out. The curry non spicy. Oh. And. Go to a concert and then a walk at the dock or not the docks. Uh, yeah, the docks. All right, Nagato. I want to tell you what's happening, but first I got to check in. Shikaku! Yeah. This date is happening. Mm hmm. What do you dress like? Uh, well, I'm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. I wanted to make the joke that I'm bringing my large armored deck with me, but um, that also <laughs> might be on the date. <laughs> <laughs> be like someone bringing their uh, skateboard with them on a date come on now i think i'm just uh wearing a simple yukata you know kind of more traditionally dressed with my hair and a single braid that goes down the side right here all right so <clears throat> tama sazanami i want to check in with you you all have heard about the date you heard all of the confessioning of course, it's hard to keep secrets when you all share dorm rooms. You guys got any plans during this date? Uh, I am going to write a letter to Nagato. Spy on the date. Sazanami, no. how about you? I stay, I stay back and I, I sit in my room. And I read Sazanami is sulking and being heartbroken. Oh my goodness. But didn't oh, you also get a date? No. Oh, was it just Tama then? It was just Tama. No, it was oh, all three. Rough. 
No. Yeah. No. Yeah. We killed Remember this I, thing before I came back you, to my turn. Let's go back to the game tapes of last episode where look, I did. It sounds right. like you don't think you're going to look. Date as well. It's going to be you're better. Just assuming Sazanami's going to agree. Look, Sazanami is going to get an invite later, and we'll see how that goes down. Nagato, Shikaku, during your date, out of the corners of your eye, you cast fl catch flashes of movement. Uh, she's attempting to hide her presence, but because she's the only one with that level of body figure on the base, it's completely obvious who it is, even though she's wearing a ball cap and dark sunglasses. It's Iowa. Uh, she's wearing the same clothing, but she has a hat that says Canada. <laughs> Because, of course, whenever an American wants to go undercover, they say they're from Canada. A. She's, like, spying on your date, and every so often she disappears for a few seconds and reappears holding you and carries her out of Mamiya's, carries her out of the concert, carries her away from the walk, and then just reappears to, like... interference for yes. us? <laughs> She runs interference for you. She's your destroyer screen. <laughs> awesome. I'll have to send her a, a, a thank you. Wait, what's she carrying? Something. She keeps on carrying you out of different places. U511? U511? Tiny submarine oh, girl. You. Oh, I thought... she's, keeping, she's keeping you from interrupting the date. Ah, okay. <laughs> I thought you meant you. And trying to be incognito and failing terribly. Look, in my attempt to maximize the discomfort of the scene, I want to ask the two of you if you want to play out the last part of the walk together, perhaps with some light anime music and some cherry blossoms dropping from the sakura trees. So the whisper of the wind. I'm going to be honest. I kind of don't. All right. We'll let it pass. <laughs> we'll, we'll let it pass. We did, but it's okay. It's fine. It's fine. Chicago <clears throat> understands Nakato doesn't have much emotion. Then the first scene of tonight uh, is a news broadcaster. There is a mailed fist. That is the news icon, and he shuffles some papers and says, And that's that all I've got fun. for the program. I'm James Jives, and this is Donegal Broadcasting Corporation. Next up, we'll be watching a preview for next season's anime. <laughs> On screen appears a tall woman with black hair and red eyes, wearing a very familiar outfit. She looks like Nagato. Uh, except that she's wearing a ridiculously sized hat and is carrying a Type 89 assault rifle. Uh, <laughs> she takes a magical girl pose and says, Super Sentai Nagamon! And then what are very clearly anime depictions of Sazanami, Shikaku, and Tama appear around her, also in magical girl poses, and go, And the Sailing Scouts! Uh, it drops into, like, a, a very early Power Rangers type theme, you know, with a lot of distorted synth going on. The announcer's just like, it's Nagamon, Spirit of the Chipmunk, Water Strider, Cat, and Crane. Uh, and each of them has their own weapon. Uh, assault Rifle, Bison, Aug, and M320 Grenade Launcher for Crane. And the voiceover just continues to go, Ever since their admiral was cursed to become a sentient rabbit, they must carry on the legacy of the ship girls and become the sailing scouts to protect the coastline. The sailing scouts? <laughs> After a minute and a half of this, it ends and jumps immediately into a promotional video for Nagato's next concert, where she will be singing lead vocals on at least one song. I can accept this. Let's go ahead and pick our key words for this session so that we can, uh, you know, do that thing where we do that. Meow, meow, meow. Look, there's nothing I like better than creating fake shows within the show. Don't worry, Housewife Woke Class will probably come around at some point during this session. <laughs> That's my favorite. I gotta say, 
Immortal Warrior has been pretty good too. That's got a lot of play over on the BattleTech. Mm -hmm. So it's a, it's official. Uh, this show is actually a television series within the other show. Yes, yes. <laughs> Kaya Cult takes place within the BattleTech universe. Excellent. Next thing you know, we'll be facing. Now element. all you need to do is in the BattleTech universe make make uh, this show a comic. No, wait. How can I how can I redundancy it? No, we make the BattleTech universe in this show into a comic series and then it implodes as both shows attempt to pretend that they're in each other's universe there we go now i've got it it's like playing portal do we have some picks here i'm looking for picks i see three cards for a second three cards <laughs> all right all right i'm seeing some cards let's see what's written on the what huh we ended last time right so we're finally able to like Yes. Drop yep. our things that we didn't want. Yes, you can. You can swap uh, any amount of traits down to the number that you started with and swap an ability. Thank you. You know... Oh, so you might be able to pick up some positive traits? <laughs> Holy shit. You know, in the beginning days, I used to be really good at predicting who did what. And over the last few weeks, I've gotten worse at it. And this time, I have no fucking clue who put what on the table. There's not a single Harana to be found. I thought I would get at least a little laugh on that one. All right, I'll try it better next time. I, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm honestly uh, surprised uh, that uh, you did not pick out mine. I, there's a lot. There's okay. a lot going on here. All right. All right, all right, all right. We're starting with a recreational type scene. Would anyone like to be the scene player? I'll do the first one. Very well. This key word is pillow fight. I'll join. Can I also refit, please? Yes, but we do it at the end. Okie dokie. Let's see here. Wow, a three. <laughs> a new game. Huh? What's that? Some kind of new game? Nagato. You find yourself in the dorm room you share with Sazanami. You've invented this entirely new game called Pillow Fight Tag. What it involves is you and everyone playing play a pillow fight. Whoever gets knocked down first has to start a game <laughs> of tag by running away. Then you chase them down and throw more pillows at them. Oh, play me out. Obviously, I yep. throw the pillows, like, way too hard. <laughs> People are, like, getting embedded in walls and shit. What's in those pillows? <laughs> Bricks. Yeah. All right. Nagato. Make an imagination check. That's interest oh, three. Yeah, I know. Not your strong suit, huh? It's hobbies. Sorry. Uh oh, crap. Yeah. Uh, I think serious. Wow. Your closest, closest to imagination is serious. I feel like there are some holes in this particular one. So I need to roll a nine. Like Shikaku just kind of took a full pillow to the face. At some That's point. not a nine. That is not a nine. What do you want to do? I'll re-roll it. What you would? Yeah. Four okay. Minutes. Ba -da 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 -do -ba -do -ba -ba -ba. No, that's not that's... a nine either. Would you would you like some help? He needs sure, she needs five points five. of help. I I Tom is like, I could throw eight at you. Six. That's fine. Great. Wow. 
Tama, how do you literally turn this game around from being super sucky to amazing? Um, I think like, and, like every, every, every not hit so hard. <laughs> uh, yeah, like exactly what I was thinking. I was like, uh, Nagato hits her with one, but like she like falls down and starts crying, and then Nagato comes over and is like, "Oh no!" And uh, she's like, "Don't hit so hard now." And then immediately, like, starts hitting, like, picks up a pump and starts hitting it. <laughs> like, drop, like, holding three pillows at once, drop two of them, and just hit with a single pillow instead of a stack of them. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <clears throat> Nagato, you may change one defect to merit and pick three supplies to gain. Ooh, well, I don't have any defects because I'm perfect. My grandfather's deck has no weak cards. Um, because <laughs> you're perfect. No. <laughs> Look, as an idol, you should have studied the great sage Cyrus's work, and you would know that nobody's perfect, and you're going to have to work it again and again just to make it right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I'll take uh, fuel on that season three. Very well, does anyone want to refit or discover or do any of those other things? I want to discover. Really? I want to discover too, actually. <laughs> what do you people want to discover about yourselves? I want to try to discover optimistic in a positive way this time. Oh, and I want to development. Hey, wanna, Cotton, don't wanna, you have an wanna, ability where someone gets energy if they. If you gain supplies? We, yes. We don't need any energy. We always set. I do. She because. just spent. Oh. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Okay. So it's <laughs> yeah, energy for each supply, right? That is yes, correct. All right, cool. Sazanami, make your Thank D six you. roll to see how positive you can be, or perhaps you're going to end up being aggressive, Bye. being aggressive, because it is a odd number. It is a merit, so congratulations. You spent a ton of energy, but because you're a destroyer, you give no fucks. Mm -hmm. I heard that you wanted to develop. Tell me more about this. Yeah, I like it on the aircraft table. Very well. Spend your 3666 and roll 46. That's a lot of d6. Well, we wait for that roll. I want to say Virgil, aka Zircon 5, has been har harassing me to get one of these, like, VTS plugins so that I can raise everybody's volume up and then cap it so we'll all sound like we're at the same level and then we could scream really loudly and it'll never go past a certain point so while we won't have to worry about Cotton's dogs barking we'll only have to worry about her being pushed off the chair and mauled you know we'll have 50% less why, why should you be sorry that we had to watch you get bullied by dogs that my dogs bark kind of loud. It's not your fault, clearly. <laughs> Somehow I'm thinking that you don't want to get bullied by your dog. Uh, she's just excitable. Really excitable. Boy, wow, boy. 19. That is a rare roll. Congratulations, you get one Ju 87 c Kai. I have no idea what that is. Me either. Sounds good. It's probably one of those specialty planes. <laughs> oh. This is going to take a while. We literally have no effing clue where this, where this thing is. Okay. That's not one of those. There it is. It is a dive bomber. Firepower five. Oh, wow. oh the little card's so adorable. <laughs> I only clipped that one. Oh, that's right. You blew up your fighters again last week. Yeah, to save people. Hooray! So a uh, chat asks if you can Firepower uh, five? Yep. That's wow. some big numbers. Wow. Some spirit asked if we could uh, develop fairy parachutes. No, unfortunately, those don't exist. 
I mean, just like, uh... You're like, what if we give them little leaves to hold over their yeah, heads? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you just have, like, the mental image that they live afterwards? No. The planes are just gone? No. They specifically have to die in order to fill you with remorseful guilt. Oh, gee. You know who's on the chopping block now? It's this who we say. Ooh, they've been with us so long. You, you, you act like that's uh, my fault. They've been with us for so long. <clears throat> well, with you and the Suswe, you've known each other for so long. Whether you're gonna have to go. I, I was really like hoping someone ball. would back me up there and throw in some Rick <laughs> Astley, but that's fine. Okay, any other development or, or non-sensory that you would like to attempt? All right, Sid yes. is raising his hand. I would like to develop as well on the gun and torpedo development table. Very well, 3663, roll 46. Right. Look at you guys, you have a whole shit ton of stuff and now you think you can just spend it willy-nilly on whatever you want. Yeah. Why don't you just sing the songs that remind you of the good times and the songs that remind you of the better times? I like that song. Yeah, everybody likes that song. There's literally not a single fucking in the person in the world that hates that song. That's fair. Uh, My comment section is going to be full of people. They're like, Chumbo, what the fuck those bitches? I can't believe they performed at New Year's Eve. Ooh, 12. 2000. They get knocked down, but they get back up again. It's true. They're never gonna keep oh torpedo tube nice development tube. that's the one thing you definitely didn't need like six more of is torpedo tubes yay do we have a bunch of torpedo tubes yes and they all suck yay <laughs> we only all... have one torpedo tube we have one that I equipped burn a fuel to equipped. gain an energy do we have any uh furniture coins right now or no you have two furniture coins left yeah. someone spent a fuck ton of them last time it wasn't enough it was yeah. three i bought the jukebox someone brought the kotatsu at some point i don't know when but yeah that wasn't me why would you like the to what? buy some more the kotatsu that's a that's the covered table that you sit around and you put your legs under to keep you warm oh, in the winter I time Cotton bought it. There we go. I bought the Kotatsu and I bought the Carrier Flight Deck. Mm -hmm. Very well, Admiral Cotton. Carry on because Kotatsus are supposedly really great. If there's one thing I know from reading manga, it's that you can't escape from the Kotatsu. Once you put your legs under it, <laughs> you turn it to a human blob and you can't leave until it runs out of power. Oh, it yeah, there's like a whole episode. Helpful and it was only one furniture coin. <laughs> There's like a whole episode of Himoto about that. Well, Everybody I mean, since the there's Kutatsu. only like four pieces of furniture left, I might as, and they each only cost one, I might as well buy two of them. Very well. Uh, I think I'm going to pick... I will go harass the people that made this game into converting all of the furniture pieces from the books two, three, and four into the game. Yeah. We'll see if they give a shit since they're actually developing the... Um, What's that? Girls Frontline? They're trying to make a Girls Frontline version of this game. If there's one thing I know about development, it's that when you're busy doing something else, you really want someone to tell you about your old work and how they can improve it. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. What and wonderful can... furniture are you buying for us? Uh, I am getting the uh, Convoy Escort Scroll. Very well. Um, with a command roll, but no cost, for the rest of the session, whenever resources are gained from an expedition scene, you gain one extra resource of the same type. And the elegant board, the trait is reading. Um, <clears throat> the user chooses a keyword from one of the event cards that has not yet been used so far this cycle. Once this session, the user gets plus a plus one modifier to an action check related to the chosen keyword. That one's pretty good. Yeah. But the so, uh, the bad part of that one is very bad. Uh, of this one? Yeah, the bad one is you roll on the accident table. Only if it's a fumble. Right. If it's just a regular failure, it's nothing. Very well. All right. If there's nothing else you all want to do, we've got another scene. You find yourself... 
I see your mouth moving, Sid, but you are muted. I'd actually like to do one more thing. Very well. What do you want to do? I would like to trade in the three secondary guns and the two medium caliber naval guns to Akashi. Very well. You head on down to Akashi's shop. You begin setting guns down in front of her, and she's just like, tasty and delicious. And begins consuming them as the fairies flee out from before they get sucked into her mouth. <laughs> then she spits it back out into a solid chunk of bauxite. Uh, let's see here. Where are these? Which ones are you getting rid of? Let's see. The uh, to see, I'll ping them here. These three. Yep, got them. And these two medium. All right. What five supplies would you like to get? Um, I think steel. Okay. She gets like a toothpick and there's little little steel ingots fall out of her teeth and she's just like, Nice work, Nagato! Would Thank it be alright if I tried to develop too? Yes, it would be fine if you wanted to develop, Khan. Um, Please develop, you're better at rolling than me. Very well, 3663, three. roll your 4d6. I think I'm going to stop saying I would like to develop. Instead, I'll just start saying, would someone please develop? <laughs> <laughs> Three, four, two, five. It's probably torpedo tube. It is machine gun. <clears throat> the worst anti-air turret in the entire game. Oh, well, that's fair. You know, while we're at it, let me also use some of this furniture before I forget. Uh, starting with Fleet Girl's personal desk. Very well. I too would like to use the Fleet Girl's personal desk. As would I. It's, turns out it's really good. Um, serious, right? Oh. Two points of energy. But you get 1d6 energy back for your critical. Oh, it's 2d6, that's right. I got another one. six. <laughs> All right. There's my good rolling for the next year, I guess. Yeah, I was going to say, you just screwed yourself in Battletech. That could have been a headshot. I know, right? All right, I need an eight. Yes. Uh, I'm going to reroll mine. That's Very good well. enough. <clears throat> so I got it. A five. I got a nine, and I needed an eight. Very also well. For the personal desk. Um, eight. That is enough. Very well. Uh, and also use the carrier deck. Flight deck. All right. You make an aerial attack roll, which is a five for you. Costs three bauxite. Cotton, did you subtract your payment from the? Nope, I forgot what it was. Three, six, six, three. All right. I got a 10. You're good. I use the Terra Terra Boozoo dolls. Oh, boy. Gosh. We just get a scene that's exactly like the Azure Lane dorm room where you guys are just wandering around touching furniture. <laughs> Ooh. Um, Thomas hanging Terra Terra Bozo dolls. <laughs> Everybody uses the desk at the same time. Yes. I feel like uh, you're probably collectively reading manga. Sorry, manga. That's Can I also um, resupply? Yep. Okay. Ooh, that's a three. I need to reroll. That would be wise. I'm going to use two bauxite and one steel. Two. Yeah. There we go. Ten is success. And then uh finally, before I forget, um, I need a random charm category so that I can roll the Admiral's desk. Bum, bum, bum. Random charm category. <laughs> Using the powers invested in me by this dice, it is cool. Cool. Um Oh boy, I think my closest is catchphrase. I think it's considerate, right? Oh no, I'm uh, looking at the wrong no, color. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, for some reason but, I thought you were but pink. one and two is closed for me, I think. Very well, one, two, three, four. Yeah. That's a nine. I can make that. I can make that. I don't know I mean, that you can. 
I heard it was impossible for people to roll nines. Well, it's a seven, so I'm gonna need to roll again. Every time I play craps, unless just somebody block unless somebody the nine right off the table. Roulette, don't even go for the nines. Five. Wow. That's rough. Ouch. It's getting worse. That should be a seven, not an eight, by the way. Uh, one more time. Three. Oh, wait. One. That's that's good. That's real good. Oh god, I thought it was snake eyes for a second. It was like oh, no, 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 no. That was <laughs> that was not. That would have been real bad. Seven. Seven again. I will help. aid you. <laughs> uh, Unless it wants to help, that's fine. I'll help. I, you have a ten I'll now. I'll accept the help. Thank you. I'll accept the help from Sid, uh, because reasons. Very well. <laughs> because reasons. <laughs> I mean, I already helped Nagato. I think it's appropriate that, that Nagato helps back. <laughs> yeah. Give me your payment. Okay. Uh, I'm done uh, spamming all my buffs. We can move on to the next scene. <laughs> okay. You all find yourself in class. I know it's been a while, but you all technically are attending a military academy. Uh, Kyle Yeager is guest lecturing, and he's reading from Le Mort de Arthur, uh, the tales of the Knights of Camelot. And <clears throat> he's reading from book six, which is the quest for the Holy Grail. And in the process, he says, <clears throat> Now, I find it interesting that there are several tales that coincide with things that we've learned about the ship girls talks of elves and fairy knights and and such like that so here's your homework assignment for the next class and as he's saying that the bell goes off and you is already like gone you you hear her briefly say like diving diving, diving. <laughs> <laughs> study one mythological cycle from somewhere around the world and come back with a written report as to how it might relate to these fantastic stories of ship girls, perhaps risen from the past. That's all. Get out of here. Shikaku's asleep at her desk. He throws a piece of chalk at Shikaku. It hits like Shikaku, her. and then it sh 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 goes in the air and drops and hits her again. Doesn't wake her up. Like, do a sidekick next to her, like, really hard to the point where the whole desk just shifts a foot. She just kind of yawns and there's like a little like bubble. <laughs> As I he's do the raised chop, wicker. <laughs> Tama just leaves. As he's gathering his backpack, uh, Tama has left before he does, and so doesn't see that on the backpack he's got a if Tama was a cat, chibi face Tama. Um, <laughs> One of those like dangling things that goes on the zippers. <laughs> you know what yeah, I'm yeah, talking yeah. about. Yeah. <laughs> That's where he's at. Anything oh. you guys want to do before we move on to the next keyword? I want to go up to him real quick. All right. And say, is that Tama? Yeah. Yeah, it is. That's adorable. Thanks. Why do you have a Tama keychain? Well, I like Tama. I feel like I have a special connection with her. Look, Sazanami, you're great. And I know that Nagato and Shikaku, we've all had problems with each other. But I just feel a connection with Tama that I don't with you. Even though you're not one of the horrible, bloodthirsty monsters that had to be converted to our side. You were born good. That's, that's a little bit hurtful, but okay. Well... No! Like, really <laughs> so he's like, no, no, you. what I'm saying is that you're a good person. <laughs> Even if Shikaku and Nagato aren't. Completely. Shikaku's awake for that part. <laughs> oh, really? I just storm past him. <sighs> he's kind of wakes up. In the past! I meant in the past! Well, we could talk about your past, Kyle Yeager, but no one brings it up. <laughs> That's because I'm like 18. I don't Okay. Well, how old am I? He doesn't have a past. <laughs> he was I, like a little, he was really annoying. 
when you first I mean, based on your date of commissioning, yeah. you're like 80 years old, aren't you, Grandma? Well, you should respect your elders now, shouldn't you? Little boy. Pats him on the head as she walks out and just kind of yawns again and stretches. I didn't know Chicago was a grandma. I don't... Oba! <laughs> he looks back at you sideways, Sasanami, <laughs> and it makes a face like he has something he doesn't want to tell you and then looks away again. Sasanami will head out after that. Alright. Let's look at these here key words. <clears throat> The next scene is a social scene. Who would like to be the scene player? I would. Oh, you know, it occurs to me now. This one's probably yours. Then I probably know what the keyword is. Uh, First one was mine. By the I way. will let you guess what the keyword is. Octopus. It is, in fact, octopus. Yes. I would guess that as being yours. Mm -hmm. I would also guess that as being yours. I didn't but at I the didn't time. I didn't the cards, but... so I don't know. True. Maybe there's true. something else more Kelsey. -y. There's nothing more Kelsey than octopuses. <laughs> That's true, though. All right. Be accurate. Happy accident. You carelessly <laughs> misread something that's not yours. Hmm. Very well. <clears throat> Tama, you find yourself in the Naval Administration Center. I was there helping sort the mail with Oyada. You get a package for you accidentally that you are not supposed to, and you find yourself opening it in the, the general area of the dorms. Who's there with you when you open up and there's a there's a still alive octopus inside of the container? I would like to be there. That's, that's an interesting thing to get. The octopus looks at you and then just fucking inks you right in the face. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> Howard. I get that reference. I'll offer Tama a little tissue. You know, Sid. According to Reddit, the uh, word I've said most on Reddit is Sicarian. That's twenty-nine you know, times. Sicarian's yeah. awesome. He's my favorite. Is awesome. Next to Howard. Howard was pretty damn cool. I don't know. <laughs> I thought Sicarian was better. I mean. We didn't see a whole lot of Howard, so... Yeah, exactly. We needed more Howard. <laughs> we needed more Sicarian. He left us too soon. Uh, this is true. That was a, it was a good ending, though. He, he, it, was, he had a it, was, it was proper, I think. Uh, back to back to Octopus, Ink's face. Meanwhile, back at the ranch. Oh, no! <laughs> Meanwhile, those Duke boys. What was that, Sazanami? I think he's scared. I, I don't know, but it's an octopus. Octopus squirt ink when they're scared. What sent this in a box? The God. YouTube comment section right now is just like, that's squids, Arthur, you fucking moron. <laughs> <laughs> it's genetically modified. Right. It's the GMO. <laughs> it's the GMO octopus. When you go to check the address, it's actually for you. Oh no, I didn't mean to open this box. It's supposed to go to you. Me? No. No, you you find from the look at where she is, you know? I didn't know she liked octopus. I didn't know that either. I don't know a lot about her now that I think about it. Maybe she wanted a pet. Hmm. I just kind of look up. You, it's... are you nearby? There's Help no answer. It, yeah? Huh? Help me catch it, Sazanami. Okay. Tama, make a foolish check. That's <laughs> charm eight. Charm eight. Foolish. Um, optimistic is close. Uh, yeah. So is Idol. Maybe you should go ahead and pick up Idol at the end of this. Just have the whole party pick up Idol. I can't already have five. I what heard that you could be Nagamon and the Sailing Scouts if you all just became Idols and you could voice mm -hmm. act your own characters. Yeah, I'm gonna say no. <laughs> uh, six is not good enough. No, it's not. What would you want to do? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Ooh. What do you need? Uh, seven. seven. 
I'll assist you since Sazanami was helping you chase the octopus. Yeah, that makes sense. Thank you. Damn it. Fine. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what you get. Each PC increases their relationship score towards the scene player by one, which means you can reset that relationship immediately. Nice. Yeah. And I can reset mine. Perfect. Tama, Sazanami, since you seem to be the only ones involved in chasing this octopus down, you find it and deliver it to you. You find her sunning on the roof of the submarine pen. Uh, she is chilling out. She's got on just a regular school swimsuit on, like, you know, the navy blue one-piece deal. Mm -hmm. uh, seems to be trying to pick up a tan, which is fairly difficult for her because she's almost translucently pale. Mm -hmm. And when she sees the octopus, she takes off her sunglasses. Instead of pupils, she just has shining diamonds that get smaller and larger. And a little bit of drool comes out of her mouth as she goes, Octopus. This is supposed to be for you, yeah? She immediately dodge rolls towards you and in the process takes the octopus out of the box into the dodge roll with her and goes past you. Some kanji appears on the screen that's like, you ultimate dodge roll, 100% octopus retrieval attack. That was amazing. I'm gonna cook it and eat Wait, it. what? She immediately jumps off the roof with it and goes diving, diving, and then hits the water and begins swimming towards Mamiya's. We've made a horrible mistake. Octopus is quite healthy. I don't know, Nyo. Some people eat it, though, Nyo. It's delicious. You should try it sometime. She's actually got her back towards Nagato. Ooh. If Nagato thinks it's good, maybe I should try it, Nyo. Ooh. I thought he was cute. He's pretty slimy, though. It's fair. I don't like slimy, man. Yeah? It's not slimy if you cook it right. It was when it squiggled out of my hands, you know? I still think you'd be a nice cat. Totally <laughs> <laughs> Sazanami is not looking at Nagato. Wow, that's rough. <laughs> Look, All being right. being the object of disdain from Cotton, that has to be the worst, lowest point of your life. Yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> feeling feeling right. pretty damn bad, let me tell you. <laughs> I need to resupply because I use so much energy. All right. Any other things you people would like to do? What do you mean, you people? You ship girls. What do you oh, mean? Oh, I need to rediscover again. Very well. I want to discover enemy awareness. Very well. For three. That is a positive trait. Woo! Can I also refuel? Indeed. The next scene is a social scene. This will be the second one, so the roll gets a minus one. Who would like to be the scene player? I'll do it. The keyword is sailing scouts. That's a nine, which becomes an eight. <clears throat> Iowa, Oyeda still sorting out packages at the mail center. When foolishly, ever so foolishly, Sazanami passes through, picks up a package she thinks is meant for her, heads to the dorm's common area, opens it up, and inside is a limited edition first print of Nagamon the Chipmunk Spirited Warrior with her uh, rainbow colored Type 89 assault rifle. What are you doing opening my mail? <laughs> I'll let you have that one. I love this development. She just sets the box down. Doesn't say a word. Sazanami, go ahead and make a foolish check. <laughs> it's 
two away from funny, making it a seven. Nothing about this situation seems funny to me, but okay. Okie dokie. I got a seven. seven. Each PC increases their relationship score towards Sazanami by one. Nagato, got anything to say to uh, Kohai-chan? So you opened my mail and you still won't even talk to me? Some angsty Did late 90s teen movie music soundtrack starts playing. It was an accident. I'm sorry. And then she just leaves. What? What? Hey, what? Oh my goodness. That iceberg could have sunk the Titanic. Do the, the, the long lingering stare after her as she walks away. <laughs> I don't want to wait for my life to be over. I'm going to get pinged for copyright infringement so badly. <laughs> All right, look, does anyone want to resupply, refit, <laughs> discover, or develop? You guys all pick scenes that could do this in, so. I think I'm good. Sure you guys don't want to just develop using the last of your energy and then next time around you'll be like, oh rather, no, we don't have any supplies. I'd rather that was a bad that. idea last time, so we're not gonna do it again. Fine. Spend your money responsibly. Lexi, congratulations. Shikaku ends up with the social scene. Can you guess what the keyword is? You. Yes, yeah, it's, it's your own, right? Well, I'm just really good at guessing. this roll has a minus two to it. Let's see if I can land a 10 on the dice so we can get yet another mail mishap. I did not. We end up with a four. <laughs> How does this keep happening? I don't, this is perfect. <clears throat> Let's see, where, where does this go down? Mm -hmm. All right. It takes place in uh, Mamiya's. Okay. Mamiya's there, as is you. Shikaku, you're in there eating lunch. It's some coconut curry. Nice and spicy, I hope. No, no, super sweet. It's called the Nagato special. Uh, I, I'm like sitting there putting like hot pepper, like like cayenne pepper seasoning on it. <laughs> you so, like, shows up. She flops into the chair across from you and does a quick dab. The name of the scene is called Don't Love is that. a Battlefield. One day, another ship girl appears in front of you. She seems to think the two of you have become romantic rivals. Mm. I challenge you to a you contest, she declares. Uh, what's a you contest? So That's easy. where we perform submarine type stuff. Since submarines are the greatest threat to the great Nagato, you and I should do what we can in order to emulate submarines. Well, I'm a carrier. Are you saying that you aren't fast enough to become a submarine? Uh, you might be faster than I am. Are you saying you can't protect Nagato? That's not true. I've protected her many times. You're not even heard the same fleet as her. But I, I could be her. one day. Listen. You won't accept my submarine contest? Very well then. I'll just Will declare you myself. My carrier contest? No. Okay then. I made the challenge first. Mm -hmm. What are you? Enjoy some curry. Why don't you have some? And Chicken. I, and I push <laughs> up. <laughs> I believe it's a crane, but that's okay. I know you're from a different country. I don't know how their education system is there. Oh, when you say that, she splashes some of what's in the bowl on your face. I just like look at. Hmm. Almost as good as the salt of my enemy's tears. Are you refusing to enter into a competition with you? Uh... You want to accept an automatic failure on this one? Oh, I have to. I mean, I guess I guess I have to then. Yeah, she's like, like, fine. I'll humor you. You've humored me. With your attempts. <laughs> I was trying to make, I want to make peace with her, honestly. But, look, you might want to make peace with her, right? But the author for this episode was like, look, 
we need to make sure that their relationship stays antagonistic. We gotta draw the viewers, okay? Mm -hmm. So uh, you need to beat up on a little kid, okay. Got exactly. It. You need to make an anti-submarine check. Uh, I knew that was what it was gonna be. Uh, wouldn't it be like torpedoes? Nope, it's anti-submarine. But I'm supposed to be a submarine. Why would I be anti-submarine? Because you're supposed to be stopping submarines from killing Nagato. One, two, three. So I need eight. Indeed. Eight. That's seven. seven. What do you want to do? I shall reroll it. Two. Six. I'll reroll that as well. Two. Putting a lot of effort into beating you, huh? Nine. That's enough. In the end, you being like a fraction of your size means that you are just going to end up having more stamina and outswim her. <laughs> you cross the finish line of the race moments ahead of her and she's so upset you can't see her tears streaming down her face only because of the salt water already in place I go up there and give her a hug all right some late 90s angsty teen movie do, 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 do. as she hugs sad. you back and it's just like <laughs> she has no words, she just hugs you back. You get to increase your relationship score towards a character of your choice by two points. Wow. Uh, I'm gonna do it towards you. My goodness! What is happening tonight? Sazanami hates Nagato? You is no longer an outcast? Yeah, while all that's going on, Nagato feels like she did something to really bad to Sazanami, so she's trying to make up for it. And like the dorm room is just coated in goodies, cookies and cakes and stuff. <laughs> See, I wanna We're just reply. I'm sorry. You hold up a <laughs> boom box soon. outside her room. <laughs> Sazanami come back. What's you can boom box out? like on her oh, bed while Sazanami's sitting on her bed. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <clears throat> the four of you are called to the Admiral's office. Uh, Admiral Sarah is looking very tired. For the first time since you've seen her, her uniform is completely in disrepair. Uh, buttons undone. Dark circles under her eyes. She's not wearing her hat and her hair is just kind of messy and split ended. When you come in, she's like, oh, good, you're all here. I'm glad you remembered the way to my office. How, why would we forget that? Well, it's been a while yeah. since you've seen me. Apparently, you spend all your time with Kyle Yeager. Not by Admiral, choice. I was just here this morning. Are it's not like I'm okay? jealous or anything. Babaka? No, I didn't. This isn't a manga. Oh, at least you know the tropes. You're learning so fast. I'm so proud. It wouldn't hurt you to drop by more, okay? Uh -huh. Okay, Again, Admiral. I was just here this morning. I give Admiral a hug. <laughs> I'll join in in this like hug. Confused. I'll make it a triple hug. She's trying to do paperwork still while you're I'll all hanging off her. I'll stand there and cough. <laughs> fine, like fine. I it's good to see you all as well. You missed us. Admit it. I why wouldn't I admit that? I guess you just Aww. didn't admit it, so... I missed you, too. Some late 90s angsty teen music begins playing. <laughs> I'm gonna make this a meme. It's gonna happen. Someone will accept that this is a meme at some point. Green Day starts playing? <laughs> no, not that. Anything but that. I'd rather <laughs> listen to Linkin Park. <laughs> <clears throat> Admiral 
No, it's simple plan. Uh, that song. <laughs> uh... Wow, man, Rocky just got up there for a bit. It was just like, what's up? Hello, it's me, Rocky. I act like I don't love this, but I actually do love it. This is my favorite thing in the whole world. That's, yep, yep, right there. Ah, yeah, right there. <laughs> right under the left. No, yeah, yeah. Okay, put me down. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> I like how you actually put him down. <laughs> we need to get I Pondo. Just, I accept that you can speak Rocky. No, no, we need to get Pondo on here to live voice Lord Esteban for me. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> As they wave Rocky around. Yes. He's as fluffy as Esteban. <laughs> he does look super <laughs> fluffy. All right. <clears throat> you all receive your orders. You have chosen to undertake one of the three commanding admiral quests. The one you've undertaken is to uh, liberate the Australian coast. Uh, you spend days sailing around Australia, skating along with your weird chip girl skate shoes that somehow let you go across water for reasons no one ever explains ever <clears throat> you wipe out small so. packs of abyssals along the way nothing too frightening until you find yourself outside darwin australia uh from there you enter a serious and major engagement against the following forces two impacts one fortress one artillery imp and a princess. Wow. That's a weird looking princess. I think it's adorable. Why is she wearing mitts? It's like a restraining thing. Maybe it's cold. And a collar. When I went to the hospital, can't explain the collar. Sun Spirit did fan art of this for me, telling me to get better. <laughs> Look. Telling you what? To get better. He made fan oh. art of this particular princess type. Telling me to get better. I actually oh. was better before he finished the fan art, but that's only because I got so a shit ton of antibiotics. They were like, how about we just drop a fuck ton of antibiotics in your bloodstream? So, speaking of antibiotics, let's cut to the part where you kill all of your enemies. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I felt like that was a good segue. Uh, the one thing you do know is that these people are all in Area 3, because the fortress is in Area 3. Would you like to perform reconnaissance on any of the enemies? I don't... Do I, I do actually, okay, I do have reconnaissance. One reconnaissance ship. Yep, I do. Uh, let's see, we have those two. So I guess I'll just do it on... When the PT, yeah, we get, the PT pack two. Very well. We get negatives if we're in the same C zone as a. Yes, that's correct. If you, uh, anyone but a destroyer ends up in the same C zone as the fortress, uh, you get bounced out and you take a hit. Is successful? Uh, yes, that is very successful. What is the rating on your reconnaissance? It is a nine. All right. I am going to extended AA vet. Extended AA three. I'm pretty sure I can hit a nine on three dice. He said, hoping 3.5 would show up three times. That did happen. Nah, I got an eight, fuck. All right, well. <clears throat> the enemy sends planes out from the installation in order to counter your incoming recon craft, but they are unsuccessful. In the process, you discover the enemy is located in Area 1. Have you all picked your formation locations? Indeed. Yes. Yes. Well, now you can change them to whatever you want. I'm still sticking with mine. Then let us reveal our final locationing. I'm in six. I'm in four. I'm also in four. Hey, would you like to scoot over to not be in four? So we can get, so we can benefit from not all being in the same thing thing. Um, sure. I wouldn't mind going to five. Okay. I need to roll a 
withdrawal. I need to, oh, I need to remove that. Withdrawal, I don't have it. It's torpedoes. So you may not know this, but there are several Seven. coral reefs in the Darwin, Australia area, which is why we're putting in coral reef zone. Rolling a fumble causes 2d6 damage to the one making the check. In addition to rolling on the accident table, torpedo trait takes uh, trait checks gain a minus one modifier, and torpedo equipment takes a minus one accuracy. Holy shit! So, ouch! <laughs> Sazanami, would you like to yes. activate your special ability? I would like to activate my special All right. ability. All right, everyone's invincible now. Yeah. I actually have to roll for that. Very well. I have to roll up to my six. So I need to get five. I got a three. Wow, I was super shocked that you failed that. I was too. I will re-roll them. For five. And I got a four. What the shit? <laughs> it's because somebody took my lucky dice. Oh, that's right. There's that thing where we blame Sid for this. I mean, it was close to his pile and then it wasn't there. I'll re-roll again. One. Got a three. I, I would accept help oh my God. if anybody wants. Uh, uh, <laughs> well, I feel like you're going to end up with double ones before you... I... <laughs> before you succeed at rolling a five. Four. Look, do you want do you want some help, Sunday? I mean, I did just ask before I rolled that one, but I already rolled the energy, so. All right. There we go, energy. six. Okay, okay, okay. Now we've got. It only took ten energy to get. <laughs> mm hmm. Good thing it's you have fine. like a billion energy, though. So, what are the benefits on this? It negative two to torpedo damage and plus one to dodge. Negative to torpedo damage isn't great for me because I actually like using torpedoes a lot. <laughs> yes, we know this. You know what else I like? Hmm. Friendship. That's true. I mean, I was just going to leave it out there and see what you guys had to say, but that is true. Feelings. No, not that one. Feelings haunt me and keep me up at night, desperate to find anything else. Fancy food? Ooh, that is a good one. Mm. I'm a little worried that that's what comes to mind, but yes, that is true. Stuffed animals? I could kill <sighs> for a good steak Oscar right about now. Cat hoodies. I, I actually, yes, I do like cat hoodies. I like the way they look. I like the people that wear them. I would like to acquire <laughs> one. Uh, it's becoming really hot in manga and anime right now. I do have a shit ton of stuffed animals back from when Beanie Babies were big. But I mean, I don't think I've acquired one in about two years. I would say like 12 years. Probably a good thing. They're not fresh. Really? You're gonna, wow. You're gonna hit on Beanie Baby? <laughs> How, you're gonna hit on stuffed animals, dog? Come on, Sid, everybody likes stuffed animals. Sid, if I find out you got a body pillow, I'm gonna be really upset. I do not have a body pillow. Not Hashtag even. Sid Duck Amakura quest. Figure out the investigation. You can't prove to me you don't have one, Sid. <laughs> okay. Let's, let's kick this battle off before Sid gets super upset. Poor Sid. <clears throat> it's aerial combat phase. Let's do it. What do you want to do? Uh, Well, I want to attack with all the aerial combat. combat. Yay. Yeah, I figured. So let's do it. All right. Little three dice. Yeah, three, six, and four. Uh, and I will activate that furniture that Cotton got in the carrier flight deck. Um, I will reroll this. Uh, well, I guess it doesn't really matter with that one. Uh, the six right here. Okay. Once you've used that, you can't use it again. Four. Okay. I have 5d6 for position 3. Okay. Um, And I'm going to go for the Darwin Princess. Very well. Do I get a negative towards her at all? 
Uh, not for this. Uh, as an installation, she can't be targeted by torpedoes, and neither can artillery imp. Well, good thing I don't have torpedoes. It's 21. Very well. Your 21 causes her zero damage as she feeds it all to the fort. We're not supposed to protect this fort, right? That's correct. You're attempting okay, to take it. It's super down. hard. The fort is just a Yes, damage. it would be. It would be impossible to protect the fort. Mm hmm. Shikaku, extreme range. Anything you want to do? Nope. Very well. Shikaku, long range. Nagato, uh, long range. Long range, yes. Uh, uh, I'm going to fire on PT Impact 2 in location 1. <laughs> Very well. Sonotoriwa. They have evasion on 4, 5, and 6. What? Yep. PT impacts their evasion. Yeah, it was super hard to hit. They're super squishy. They take a plus three accuracy against short range guns and secondary guns, but uh, anything that is not that must get. Okay, so I rolled a zero. Yes, he did. I'm gonna try and reroll that. Two energy. So what's happening is the imps are all jumping around and splitting apart. As you fire these huge shells that get nowhere near them. There we go. Fuck. <laughs> you have a one. Four. I have a one. Unless someone wants to aid me, I'm just going to accept that as a failure. Unless you can roll a two and a three, it is impossible for you to make this roll. Or a three and a three. Someone someone could help. You have a three and 36 chance of landing this, which means you got a, like a what? A one in 12? I don't want to waste the help when we still have the other battle and this is so early on. There's actually this helps there's three battles in this double episode. But as long as you keep doing social scenes with the power of friendship and don't ignore Nagato, what do you guys want to do? With that one on the table, Nagato's not going to be able to hit. Nagato, you can let it stand. I'll take the miss. You fire at long range. The I'll PT. Eat your energy. Oh, from the no, tears. I can't even do that. Behind these tears, I cry. Here I am. Oh man, I'm gonna get so sued by the end of this episode. I feel like at some point I should just start listing off copyrighted songs. <sighs> Medium range. Does anyone on team you guys want to act? Team you guys. Very well. Team their guys are going to act on Artillery Imp's turn. Artillery Imp is going to target... Man, who looks super vulnerable right now? I'm thinking Tama. What do you think, Tama? I feel pretty vulnerable. Good. Excellent. Uh, your anti-air... Anti-radar warning system begins going off as the Artillery Imp, like, picks itself up drops itself down turret defense style and then begins launching an arc of shots towards you and you notice that the shots are kind of like self-guiding towards your location oh no no all right um how do i uh what do i need to roll to escape it is gentle charm four catch rays yep one two three that's an eight i got this i got this i got this what's your evasion rating Remember you have a uh, plus one to your bed. Three. No, two. It's two. Two. Okay, so you need a six. That's an eight on the dice. So there you go. The shells land in a streak behind you, but you're always one step ahead of them, and you just look super cool, dashing away from explosions. Like always, yeah? Shikaku, it's short range. What do you want to do? Uh, I want to fire on the princess. <clears throat> Very well. What will you fire with? I'm first going to start with my Ju 87 c Kai. Oh, pulling out the big guns first to start with. Of course. Very well. I shall cancel out your threes. Ho, 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 ho. Princess power. Oof. 11. 
That's a five. That's a two. I'll reroll that. That sounds like a good plan. Uh, one energy. That was a really good plan. It's 29. And that's a 10. Fine, that hits. What do you want to do? I'm going to press the attack with my 10 Zen. Very well. You now need a 6 to hit. Bad news. Your 3s are still canceled. Got a Yikes. 5. But they have an accuracy, the accuracy of 2. Of two. Fine! Boom. They also hit. No problem. And don't I get an extra attack? A dice from Cotton's thing? No. Only no. two evasion. One, two, three, four, five. Sorry. Okay. Get a plus That's one okay. to evade. That's fine. I have nine D6. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wait, that's not eight. Is that eight? Five, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three. Got it. Booster. Sounds like someone's been watching High School DxD. I have not, but Booster. 31. 31, huh? I can lose 14 points of damage. And then uh, it will not do enough to damage the princess. Take four more dice. How do you support this attack? On the Wookiees. The Wookiees. Um, I, I helped direct her to a weak spot I saw on the Darwin Princess's right side. She's a small child. What weakness could there possibly be? Her flat chest. It's unprotected. Wow. <laughs> That's the harshest self-burn you've ever done. Sometimes you have to burn yourself to... You know. <sighs> Yeah, don't I know it? So total is fifty now. Uh, that is enough to put one hit down. And destroy the fort? Uh, no, she's not gonna burn any more damage into the fort. Okay. Uh -huh. Oh, and I need to go back here. Nagato already took a turn. Tama. All right, are we short range now? We are short range. Are. All right, then I get to use my 20.3 centimeter twin gun mount. That's true. That's the thing you can do. And since there is nothing directly across from me, um, I'm also going to target the princess. Because that seems like a good idea. If Twitter's taught me anything, princesses have been targeted all week long. Alright, uh, that's plenty. Five hits. And then I'll go ahead and use my uh, 61 centimeter quad OT. Can't use torpedo, torpedo tubes against her. Oh, I can't! You're right! Well, I guess I gotta do the other thing then. Mm -hmm, which mm -hmm. is my 10 centimeter high angle mount gun. I forgot I couldn't use torpedoes. Torpedoes are the best! Uh, Ooh. Uh, that still hits, though, because so I have... I have... I can plus two. She has a natural evasion rating of two, which means your two <gasps> is canceled. Oh, no! Oh, yes. Um... Okay, I'll reroll. Excellent. Oh, that looked like it was gonna land on a six, which would have gone so well with that kind of villain thing I was doing. Yeah. Damn it! There we go. That's Fine, it overwhelmingly hits. You rain a shells down on the small child. She's like, mm. you can hear her cries. No, what are you doing? You hear her say as explosions go off all around her. Explosion. We have to protect the people in the island. That's a pretty decent roll. 24? That is one hit. As she enters a medium damage state, she gains. Let's see More here. Power. Of course. Why wouldn't she? 
more power. Can I, can I change the yellow? <laughs> Fire power and armor rating increased by three, and an extended AA rating increases by two. Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's her turn. Wow, I have so many great choices as to what I want to do. That putting, jazz, though. Putting so much thought into this one. Nagato! Nagato, Crap, Nagato, Nagato. Damn it. No. Yeah, he fucked up real bad. <clears throat> the Darwin princess holds out her hands and begins tossing things in the air. Those objects turn out to be torpedo bombers that begin flying low over the water and then drop Whoa. their torpedoes a short distance from you and begin heading towards you. Make a fashion check. Fashion, fashion, fashion. That's hobby 10. Um, command. It's right next to it, so I need a seven. Indeed. Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh my god! <laughs> Go ahead and roll a d6. Let me know what it is. Four. Black cat crosses your path. Bitch. You have a minus one on all future rolls. I'm just gonna go ahead and place this on the playing area. Is this for the is this for the session or for the combat? For the combat. Okay. Alright. Man, do I wanna double down on this? I mean you're you're even weaker now. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yep, I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Next up, a wave of abyssal bombers come in behind those torpedo you without enough anti-air to block this you need to make a maintenance check that's enable uh, 12 man just <laughs> so need seven again but you need an eight because you got a minus one. Oh no plus one to um yeah, I have, I have the plus one evade, so it cancels out the black cat. And she has an accuracy rating of two, which means your two gets canceled out. You have a three on this roll. Well, it's just Nagato with four. That's not <laughs> enough. I thought he needed a seven. Yes. Three plus no, four is three. seven. Damn it. Seven. Damn it. <laughs> Last time I checked, that's, that's correct math. <sighs> Forgot that you had the evasion of one. That's why. You were in the process of explaining it to me. Mm -hmm. I have no other cards to play. I have to accept that you managed to evade my wrath. For Thank now. You, I'll I get you next you. time, Gadget. Even if you hate me, I appreciate you. <laughs> when she goes to help Nagato, she doesn't actually say anything. She just shoots some of the planes out of the sky and then turns back around. <laughs> I love it. Ice, ice, baby, to go. It's to like go. where you just hear the glass shattering sound, which is just the heartbreak. <laughs> this is how That's a heartbreak. Like felt too. Oh, 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 oh my god! Cotton doubling down with the high speed. I'm sorry. Yeah, what is it like getting savage, Sid? Um, well, even when she's insulting it. me, she just does it so that this I say, I say not. What was it? You, when you're insulting people, you're just saying nice things. This this is the level of person you've earned the ire of, Sid Alpha. How does that feel? Like I said, it feels pretty normal. <laughs> Sazanami. I can of this stuff on Thursdays, too. So. <laughs> your time has come around, Sazanami. This is your moment. What do you want to do? I want to take my little um, short range gun. That's good. Computers. And I will shoot at the guy in front of me. All right. So here's the thing. Yeah. You have an accuracy rating of two. Yes. Do you have any other accuracy bonuses? Okay. No. Uh, you also get plus three. So you have a plus five. However, okay. your... Is this one or two? Your four, four, fives, and six are canceled. Four, fives, and six And if you canceled. roll okay. double ones, you fail horribly. Okay, I'll give it a, give it a whirl. It's 
So you basically need to get any number that's not that. Not four or six? <laughs> no. I finally rolled a good roll, too. It's true. I will re-roll that. For five. Oof. And then try it again. Five and a two. Nope. Wait, which was what canceled out again? Oh, right. You only need a... Yeah, you just needed literally any number on the field. That will hit. I think I'll stop there. You sure? Yeah. Very well. I think it's only three dice, but you know. Don't worry. Their armor rating is five, so... All you need to do is get a 20 on three dice, which is literally impossible. And... Uh... Take four more dice. Yep, there we go. I knew that was going to happen. Now you have seven dice. How do you help? You act as soon to as possible. Baka um, Sazanami! She, it's not like I like you. And I see some of her torpedoes are off course, and I fire some of my shells into the water to cause a wake to push the torpedoes back. That is not how water. torpedoes work, but I'll accept 25. it. <laughs> <laughs> you defeat PTM Pack 1. And of course, it looks like I'm just missing, because I always do. <laughs> oh, well, such self degradation tonight. <laughs> PTM Pack 2. Oh, somebody has to degrade us since you've only been giving us compliments. Oh, my goodness. Jesus. Could you raise your masochist flag any higher there? <laughs> wow. Man, I read this manga called, like, Abnormal K. Joshi or something like that. And everyone in it turned out to be, like, a horrible serial murderer or an actual vampire or a former hitman. But the scariest girl was just the little schoolgirl masochist. She was literally terrifying and frightening in a manga where someone wanders around and murders people in the middle of the night. It's rough. It's a rough life being a masochist, y'all. I don't envy any of you that have chosen that path. Speaking of paths that are chosen, uh, this PT Impact 2 is going to fire a metric fuck ton of torpedoes and is going to fire all of them at Nagato. Yes, of course. So let's see here. 2-3 is... Cool. One, two. Uh, That's a seven for you. I have Sirius and my two and three are closed. So five, six, well, you, seven. You have eight. connections. Huh? Connections up here. Oh, right. One, two. Five. You have one or and two closed, right? right? No, I have two and three closed. It's eight either way. Very well. So you need a seven on the dice. Whatever, I don't care. The torpedoes explode around you and nothing bad ever happens and you succeed at all the actions you want. Cool. Flagship Tama, it's the end of the round. Do you want to withdraw? Heck no. Very well then. We'll find out what happens in the second half of this episode because we going out, y'all. We'll be back in about seven to eight minutes. Enjoy some break music and shit. I don't know why I'm saying this really madly. I just feel like <laughs> once I got into it, I just couldn't stop. Because Arthur just wants to hurt me. That's, that's yeah. 